All right, today we're gonna to be learning how to make paper beads. These are super fun. Um, it's a little something extra that you can do um, to make jewelry or add to your own artwork. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to make these paper beads is any sort of paper. I like to use old magazines, uh, newspapers, anything that has color is really great. You can even use different colored construction paper. Um, or any other old paper you have laying around is great. This is great for using scraps and magazines that you might have thrown out regularly. Uh, you're also going to need some sort of flat edge or ruler, a pair of scissors, glue of some sort. It could be glue stick or wet glue. I like the glue stick a little bit better just because it's neater, but if you don't have it, wet glue will work as well. A pencil and a straw. If you don't have the straw, you can just use an extra pencil to wrap your bead around instead. All right, so let's get started. These are super simple to make. Uh, they're a lot of fun, as I said, to make with the scraps that you have laying around. So I think I'm gonna use this piece of paper because I like the navy color and it has a little bit of color in here as well up top. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're going to put your ruler or your straight edge on the corner of your paper and you're going to angle it in just a little bit. So about that much. I'm going to take my pencil now and I'm just going to mark off that angle. This first mark, we're going to throw it away. So just cut it all on that line. So I'm going to cut on that line. The reason I'm throwing this first one away is because the edge is straight on one side. So although it looks like a triangle, one side is flat. So if I were to roll this into a bead, it would only have cool texture on one side and not both. So I'm gonna get rid of this piece. So now I have my paper. So you see how it has a nice little angle to it. And I want to now go the opposite direction and create a triangle. Keep in mind, However wide the bottom of your triangle is, is how wide your bead will be. So you can see on this bead, it was a little bit shorter because it's about that wide. And for this one, it was a little bit longer. So decide how wide you want your bead and that's how wide the bottom of your triangle should be. All right, so you can make it whatever size you want. It's up to you and your preference. So I'm going to mark this off. So this one's going to be mostly blue because I do not have any color in this yet. And if you want to mark them all off first, you are welcome to do that. Or you can do one at a time. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut right on that line. All right, so that's one triangle. I'm actually gonna cut my second triangle because I like the color much better. On this one, I like having different colors in my beads. But if you just want a navy bead, you could have used the first one. All right, now I have a nice triangle here. The side that you want to see, I want you to put it down. So this good side down. And we're just gonna start to take our glue and we're gonna to start to glue. I want you to just glue a little bit up from the edge though. Don't glue right on the edge. And if you see here, I have a piece of paper down so I don't glue on my nice table. Um, you should probably do that at home too. So I'm just gonna to start to glue, not the whole thing, just a little bit because otherwise it'll dry. And as you can see, I didn't glue the end and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna to start to just roll it onto my straw or pencil, whatever you're using. Try and take your time and roll it so that it's in the center. So you can see I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, when I get to the part that has no glue, I need to add more. So add a little bit more. I do a little at a time. You could do it all, but I feel like it tends to dry out and then your bead doesn't glue that well, uh, stick that well. So I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling. Try 
trying to keep it in the center the best that I can. And these don't have to be perfect. They're handmade for a reason. Um, but just try to do your best. Then I'm going to glue the rest. Make sure at the end you have a decent amount of glue because that is the most important part. And I'm just going to roll, 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 roll. Keep on rolling until you're all the way at the end. All right, once you hit the ends, your bead is pretty much done. What I like to do is right where that end meets, I add a drop of glue there and I just rub it in with my finger so it sticks really nice at the end. Now, your bead is pretty much finished. You can let it dry on the straw, but if you wanna make another one, just be very gentle and it slides right off and you have a beautiful bead that you can either make a bracelet, a necklace, um, add it to your artwork, whatever you wanna do. And you could just have fun and make a bunch of these in all different colors and you have all these really funky, uh, cool colored beads in the end. All right, so have fun with this. I'll put a step-by-step -step up as well. And if you have any questions, let me know. All right, I miss everyone so much. Stay creative and have a wonderful day. All right, everyone, I made a bracelet with my beads. What are you gonna make with yours? You can easily make a necklace or make a sculpture out of them. Have fun with it. I cannot wait to see what you're gonna make if you decide you wanna try and make these beads at home. All right, so have a wonderful day. Try not to get your beads wet if you make them into a bracelet because they will fall apart since they are made of paper. But this just shows how crafty we can be with the things that we have at home.